shit hustling. Chasing dreams since I was 14 with the four track. During the 2012-2013 school year, Healdsburg High School juniors had the opportunity to participate in the first ever student internship program. Students had one day a week for five weeks where they were excused from their classes for a day to work with local businesses in Sonoma County. Here's a sample of what they experienced. I'm so damn grateful. I grew up really wanna go fronts, but that's what you get when Wu-Tang raised you. Y'all can't stop me. Go hard like I got an eight away in my heartbeat. And I'm eating at the beat like it gave a little speed to a great white shark on shark. We walk. Time to go off. Oh, girl, two says goodbye. And my name is Michelle Ariola, and I'm an intern at Fort Catering. My name is Marissa Ortiz, and I'm an intern for Catering. And what we learned about this company was it takes a lot to keep a good running business and to advertise yourself and you have to be able to get people to want to be in it and you have to get customers and you have to t put yourself out there to actually like, get customers. Um, we made a survey and we surveyed a bunch of high school students and they gave us their input for cooking classes and we had to see how many people would be interested in taking the classes and what would they would like to take. My name is Jonathan Lopez and I'm an intern with Russian River Keepers and I did not know that I was going to end up becoming with an environmental group or organization and one thing that I learned um, during the period of time that I've been here is these plants behind me are non-native which means that they are just dispersing into more and more and native plants are dying because these plants are taking over where they came from and uh, the intern program has been really good it showed me that planting more native plants can really help our planet the project with the students should be a lot of fun because we're going to teach uh, younger people on how not to litter, what they can do to help better the economy, and not to litter, so it won't end up with the Russian River. I'm Jeff Granger, I'm interning at Safari West. And I'm Eduardo Zamudia, and I'm interning in Safari West. We help out in here a lot in the barn, cleaning up the giraffe stalls. And we go out sometimes to feed the other animals. I learned that not all the animals here have to be perfect. Like, there's some monkey with no tail. And at like the zoos, they all have to be perfect. And I just thought that was kind of cool. He's a warhog, he's a tusk. Yeah. You'd be able to follow orders and not be afraid to get dirty. Because it's a dirty job. So being an intern at Cousteau's Bakery isn't really too difficult. All you need really is good communication, good listening, and you definitely need to seem eager at what you do. I mean, I'm eager, that's why I'm here. Custo's Bakery is definitely one of the weirder kind of businesses. I shouldn't say weirder. It's definitely one of the more enthusiastic about what they do. Because it's such a small business and they put out such good products that it's just baffling to work in this kind of establishment. And what we're doing uh, here in, in Custos Bakery is we're putting up a catalog for Mr. Seppi. And here, while we're here is taking pictures of bakeries and goods and then just in, importing them on a computer so they can make it like a catalog on YouTube. Uh, I'm Macy Ovenville. I'm an intern at Dragon Creek Kitchen. My name is Dustin Fleck. I'm the chef of Dragon Creek Kitchen and also her mentor. Uh, definitely, no, I don't want to be a chef. <laughs> and kind of fast paced and you're on your feet a lot so I don't really like that. I thought it was going to be a lot fun and <laughs> kind of slower. 
Um, I'm going to go out for intern. Um, I also, uh, when I was very young, entered the restaurant business. Um, I learned that it is definitely an industry of passion. Uh, like you spoke of earlier, it is very long hours, it is very hard work, it is very fast paced, and it's not for everybody. Um, I learned from my intern that it is really good at a young age to give them exposure to the industry and see if that's what they want to do for the rest of their life. A lot of times, uh, friends, family friends, uh, my nephew's a good example, they go through their entire high school career and not actually having worked in the industry they want to go do. So they say, wow, I really want to be a chef. They don't actually go out there and try it and see what it is. So when they graduate from high school and then go into college, they have this anticipation of what the career is, what the industry is like, and when they get into it, it's completely different. So what I learned from you was, at a very young age, to get out there and actually try the industry you're talking about. If it's gonna be a chef, it's gonna be a hairstylist, if it's gonna be an accountant. Go out there and actually see the young age and say, yes, this is what I'm excited about. But like you said, you know, I don't like doing my feet, it's too fast paced. So maybe you love the food industry, but maybe you do a little different, a little different choice. Maybe you'll be an on-air camera person. <laughs> um, but you'll kind of understand from a very young age what the industry is like and if it suits you or not. I recommend for further mentors in the future to make sure that you're hands-on with them. Make sure that they don't have to sit there in the corner and uh, get bored. But uh, you're actually hands-on. And I think that if for the future mentors I'm speaking to you right now, Think about what age you started the industry you're in, and if you would have been fortunate enough to do an internship at the age of 17, 16, 16 or 17, she's not going to tell me, um, 16 or 17, if you're fortunate to have an internship at that age, and really see the career that you wanted to get into, and see if that's something you want to do for the rest of your life. So I would say to uh, the mentors, to really kind of show them the industry, and show them your passion, show them what you love, show what you do for a living. And they might say, <clears throat> I love it, or they might say, you're on your feet too much, it's too hard to work, and that's not for them.